The customer plan assessment task is designed to give you the opportunity to build on the four sections of the course that you have studied and focus on an audience, a target market, and creating an offering that would be valued by that audience. So this will come in at the end of the sequence that has brought you the concepts and frameworks, how to develop a product, some of the key decisions you need to make as a marketer, and now a section on how do you identify customers. This individual task is going to link to several other elements. So there's going to be a component linkage here that you'll create your custom customer plan and your customer plan will join with the rest of your teammates and your group mates plans in the group project. So the idea here is that you want to be producing something that is an individual piece of work. It is for uh, your own development, but you can do it so that it sits in alignment with the group project. You can talk to your teammates, you can cross-collaborate with your teammates to produce a series of individually, independently developed assignments that link together and work together. So the technical requirements on the document and the content requirements are what we'll deal with next. On the technical side, you are looking at a 2000 word document. Again, it's short, it's fast, it's compact. We're looking here for efficiency and knowing that in financial services, people aren't prone to reading the fine print and long product disclosure pages. We need things to be able to be communicated clearly and quickly. So 2000 words is all you get. It does require references, it will require supporting materials. You are going to produce a potential financial product for a target market of your choice. You have a lot of freedom here, which is why you have a smaller range of words to work with, is that you have more room to move. Now, the task itself, it's a paired task you will need to outline a financial services product, a product that can be aided and assisted by financial services marketing theory and practice. The key here is that the product can be an existing product, it can be a new product, it can be a modified product. You can produce a document that outlines and pictures an existing product for an existing market so and you will get a good set of grades if you justify that audience to that market and this is what it's about is that you are offering something to a group of people and the second component so it's not the second half it's the second component of the paper is that you are outlining the audience and the audience for this particular offering. This is a holistic and integrated assignment. 2,000 words so you don't have room to split into parts. You need to tell me what the product is and effectively over the course of the assignment you're going to tell me what the product does for the audience, who the audience is, you're going to justify that audience through real-world data and support, get evidence, find a justification and a rationale for this product to this audience. Also, you have at your disposal a wide range of marketing knowledge on segmentation, targeting and positioning. A lot has been written on market segmentation, on generic principles, on generic theories, Use those principles. Apply those principles. Now, a key caveat I do have to draw your attention to is that this is not a marketing plan, and woe betide anyone who produces a marketing plan instead of this assignment that you've been requested to do. 
Because if you present a marketing plan to me, I will assume that you have just purchased a fail grade for the assignment as an exchange for a marketing plan. So, if you want to fail the assessment task, fail 40% of your uh, coursework, you can do so. It's your choice, it's your life. I would prefer that you didn't. Now, I deal with one of the usual questions I always get asked, and that is whenever I set an assignment, someone always asks me, what referencing style would you like? My answer is, any style that you are good at, any referencing format is fine as long as it's consistent, and that you will need to reference and support your paper. Use justification. The assessment task is there to give you the opportunity to showcase your ability to identify a market, identify a need in that market, and how your product would solve would create something of value to that audience. Now all of this will require you to have evidence that the audience exists, that the product would be valued by them, and that this would be an interesting way to solve that audience's problem. So you are going to be expected to go out to do research, find justification, find evidence, and that is your task and your challenge for this paper. It's why you've got a short word count, is that the points are scored through the effort that you will exert in getting your justifications and coming to your conclusions. So as always, if you need further clarification questions, you've got Twitter to reach me, you've got the face-to-face -face meetings, and you've got the email.